So why do people have differences if they've been brought up the same? What are the differences? How do we regulate it? How do we test it? Okay. So an average intelligence or intelligence as a whole, we look at, it's a bell curve. Uh, most humans, so 95%, uh, are going to range in the 70 to 130. Um, in education, classrooms are designed for people in this area, okay? We have started over the last 10 to 15 years, um, in, we are including these people on the outliers, um, but typically um, elementary school and high school, whatever, it's based on that average intelligence um, because then you can cater to a larger population. Um, so there's a bunch of different ways to talk about this stuff um, and it changes over time because of what's acceptable and what's not and the more research that's been done. So an intellectual disability is somebody who's under a score of 70 um, and it, they could have quite a few reasons for this. Um, it could be uh, genetics, it could be a birth defect, um, all of that type of stuff. But when we're looking at it, they usually, not always, will have a problem with communication, um, taking care of themselves, so like hygiene, and then social skills. Those are some of the more common reasons that you would have problems. Or, yeah. So, once you go below a 70 on an IQ score, you get it broken down into more labels, um, mild, moderate, severe, and profound. Uh, and they use these in terms of placement. Um, where are you placed educationally? Where are you placed, uh, are you put into a group home or are you in an assisted living facility? Um, because once you get here, you have to have help um, always. Now, what used to happen 50 years ago is anybody below a 70 would actually be institutionalized um, and what they have slowly and gradually changed is that these people are no longer hidden from view of people and they are more often uh, brought in to society. Again, some of these things that could cause this is brain damage, um, could be a brain injury uh, outside of the womb, it could be genetics, it could be uh, fetal alcohol syndrome, it could be um, a lot of different causes. I'm cautious of using that word, um, that might cause you to be in this range. The other end of this is the giftedness. Um, and this is a score over 100. Um, and I think what is forgotten is that these people might be gifted in one area, but maybe not in everything. Um, so they are gifted in math and they're treated differently um, in every subject. And that's not always the case. Uh, there are prodigies. These are actually people, um, we most often see them in like music, maybe in sports every once in a while. But um, The thing that I have seen in the research is that a child prodigy is usually going to burn out much faster because there's so much pressure to continue to be gifted. Um, creativity uh, is very different uh, to giftedness and or intellectual disability 
because creativity is thinking outside of the box and or um, just searching for solutions versus staring at the problem and it doesn't have to be linked to giftedness. Um, we automatically as a society think of it as giftedness, but that's not always the case. So what you have to look at is creativity. If you're always focusing on the problem, you miss the solution wholeheartedly. Um, and as a society, we are very quick to state a problem without offering solutions or even thinking about the solutions and just expecting somebody else to do it for us, which leads into, once we get there, uh, the idea of uh, the, I'm blanking on the word that I'm looking for. Um, somebody who just watches and expects other people to do fix the problem or call the police if there's an issue or something like that. 